Hey, George Peterson here at CNA Sound Pro. We're at the AES show in New York City at Javits Center. And uh, we heard about a new development with Avid Pro Tools version 10. Let's see if we can get an inside look. Here we go. Hey, Tony Caridi here uh, from Avid. We're coming to you live from AES 2011 New York City. We're in the basement, in the secret room. Um, and we've announced Pro Tools 10 and Pro Tools HDX uh, hardware. And it's a very, very exciting release um, for all of our users. Uh, Pro Tools 10 software and, for, and Pro Tools HD 10 software um, add a number of features that uh, really give our customers a gigantic leap in sound and speed. But some of the highlights to this launch are uh, Clip Gain, which uh, is a non-destructive um, gain that you can uh, 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 apply just to the clip that's specific to the clip and that is completely independent of your dynamic volume automation. <clears throat> so very, very helpful for our audio post-production uh, market, but at the same time very helpful for the professional music market. Um, this is something you can use to, uh, that's completely pre-fader, so you can use it to set pre-mix levels very quickly and easy. Um, it's completely real-time. It's completely non-destructive. Uh, another really incredible standout uh, functionality in the new software is called uh, disk caching. So, of course, disk caching has been in Pro Tools software for quite a long time now. Uh, we've allowed customers to kind of set a buffer depending on how much uh, demands they were putting on their drive and how bad, how good the drive performed. So with, uh, with this enhanced disk caching, though, we're now... Uh, letting customers take advantage of massive amounts of RAM that are available in a 64-bit operating system. And with the um, with that, you can, with the non-HD version, you can set up to a one gigabyte disk caching limit. And, you know, depending on how big your session is, you could potentially cache an entire session directly into RAM for instantaneous playback. So the performance is faster than ever before. It also means that customers uh, running sessions off of a laptop, um, that has internal drives that are maybe slow, maybe at 5,400 RPM, they can get incredible performance, top track counts, um, just from an internal drive. For the Pro Tools HD customers, the extended disk, disk cache um, goes even further. After you take away the amount of RAM that the OS needs and the amount of RAM that the uh, Pro Tools software needs, um, you can really allocate all the excess RAM. So on this computer, I think we've got 22 gigs of RAM installed in the system, and we can allocate up to 16 gigabytes just for disk caching, which is phenomenal. Um, so it means that, you know, you can, um, again, the performance is incredible, but also means because of this technology, we are able to get the same type of performance even on network storage. <clears throat> we can get this kind of performance even off of really, really slow media, like flash drive media. Um, uh, wireless drives, um, so it's it's really a, a massive game game changer for you know for the customer again that's just running on the laptop, but also for the guys that are in a bigger facility and they want the kind of um, opportunity that to to collaborate across multiple rooms using a uh, single shared storage. So really exceptional news there. We're also really pleased to announce the introduction of a new channel strip plugin that comes included with Pro Tools 10. This channel strip is based off of the uh, System 5 console. So it's the exact same dynamics and EQ section that are on that uh, hardware console, uh, which is, you know, in beautiful sound, uh, beautiful sounding console renowned for its dynamics and EQ section. So the, that, that channel strip is now included with this. <clears throat> many, many more things to talk about with Pro Tools 10, but, for, uh, but please go to the website to check out the, more of the details. And there's a lot of great uh, little uh, uh, video vignettes, feature vignettes that I'll go through some of these features in, in more detail. Um, so on to Pro Tools HDX. Pro Tools HDX is the successor to our Pro Tools HD accelerated DSP system. Um, this is bigger, better, faster, more. <clears throat> Again, an exceptional, a gigantic leap in sound and speed. Um, anywhere from, you know, we're seeing performance uh, boost from uh, sometimes five times the, ch uh, the plug-in count on this card on the Pro Tools HDX card compared to Pro Tools HD Excel systems, sometimes many more, sometimes 10, 11 times the amount of plugins. So um, we have also doubled the amount of channels that you can have that are supported on the card. The card also uses, it combines um, DSP technology plus uh, FPGAs so that really get the best of both, both worlds. We have now a completely floating point processing environment, um, which has 
really great implications in terms of processing headroom. It adds about uh, just over 1,000 dB of additional processing headroom when you're using plugins. So very, very difficult to clip. Um, which is something on a, a HD Excel system you had to be a little bit careful of um, and, and maybe obsess about gain staging. This frees, frees that up, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it also means it's much more parity sonically between a native-based system like Pro Tools HD Native and an accelerated system like this. Um, the system itself comes in a, a couple different packages. You can get an HDX system with um, Pro Tools HD10 software and an Omni for literally less money than the Pro Tools HD Excel system today costs bundled with one of those devices. So we've increased the power anywhere, you know, from roughly five times uh, the power, um, the speed, uh, sonic improvements and introduced a product that's actually less expensive than today's HD Excel system. So um, for more information, please go to uh, avid.com forward slash Pro Tools. So thanks for joining.